A lot of childhood memories involved my brother in the hospital. In any given year, he would go to the hospital about six times, each time for about two weeks, but not all of those memories are bad. He has just a way of making um, even hospital stays sort of fun. I remember bringing Nerf guns to the hospital, and pretty soon all the nurses had Nerf guns as well. There were darts littering the floor and all over my room, and I remember I was, I was a crack shot. Hi, I'm Ellie, and I have cystic fibrosis. Hi, I'm Rihanna Lee, and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Cell Biology and Physiology. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that affects the lungs and digestive system primarily. In the lungs, it causes a buildup of a thick, sticky mucus, which creates a lot of cough um, and trouble with cough clearance. That sort of environment um, just becomes a breeding ground for bacterial infection, which leads to chronic inflammation. To have CF, you have to have two mutations. Um, my brother has one copy of f 508 del which is the most common CFTR mutation and then his second copy is S492F, which is an extremely rare um, CFTR variant. There's a lot of medicine, of course, and it takes so much medicine. With uh, like practical day-to-day, -day, it's a lot of getting really tired real easy. Uh, I can just do a, a little bit of exercise and my, my heart rate's going like crazy and I'm breathing real hard. Big coughing fits are definitely not uncommon. At UNC, I focus on developing small molecule CFTR therapies for people with rare types of CF. So right now, about 90% of people with CF are eligible for small molecule therapy, but the remaining 10% have sort of a different type of CF that's much more challenging to treat. We in our lab do some work to both develop cell lines for studying that rare 10%, and then we also look into new small molecule therapies using the cell lines that we've developed. In 2018, we collected a nasal cell sample from my little brother, and we created a cell line from his cells, since he does have that one rare mutation. At the time, there were no treatments that he was currently eligible for, but in 2019, Trikafta was approved, which is a sort of breakthrough therapy. It makes a huge difference for those who are eligible for it. And so we tested Trikafta on my brother's cells, both in the cell line and on his primary cells directly from his nose. Both the cell line and the primary cells predicted that he would be a robust responder to therapy. Then when he was actually able to start taking the um, trichafta itself, um, he did actually respond really well. And it's just made a big difference in his health and quality of life. Before trichafta, um, life expectancy for people with CF was about 39 years old. And then just with the approval of this one drug, um, life expectancy is now 49. This new treatment added roughly 10 years to my brother's life. Trichafta, I always say it really is like a miracle drug. Within the first week, I my lung function just shot up. I remember during that time, between the coughing out everything that was in my lungs, feeling like this weird, like it was like an energy in my chest. And I'm like, is this breathing? <laughs> it was such a surreal feeling. Give it a month or so and I felt greater than I've ever been. My sister has is, is always been super smart, very practical, and dedicated. She's always been very determined to go down this path of researching stuff. It's real, like, sort of like an honor kind of feeling to know that she got into this very complex field and researching because I was sick. So it's, it's kind of awesome knowing that, you know, she would go that distance and that me being sick as sort of a purpose like that. Like a lot of medicine research is getting done and partially because I'm, I'm sick.